Hi, betting experts. On Monday the 9th of August, we go up to Scotland on Monday to air. Weather forecast pretty unsettled, but the ground at the moment at the time recording is good. Hopefully they'll miss the worst of it. We start off with our value angle selection in the opener, the 150. The book Virgin Bet Air Gold Cup Handicap, five furlong sprint, class six, three-year-olds and upwards, just over two and a half grand on offer to the winner. It's attracted a competitive field at a low level. The one I like is Royd Moore of Richard Fahey. Now this one has only run three times this season, a lot less exposed than most. Eight runs in total in the frame twice, yet to win a race, but probably in need of the run after 274 days off at Red Coal in second behind Aunt Agatha and has backed that form up twice since at Beverly and at Pontefrat. Last time at Ponty, didn't have a good draw. I thought did really well to finish third after a slow break behind Van Gerwen. Basically, you need to be drawn near the rail at Pontefrat. Anything in the car park's got no chance unless they go for home too soon. And I thought that Roydmore shaped really well under Hannigan there from a mark of 68. That's unchanged. I think it's a best opportunity yet um, to get off the mark at the ninth time of asking. For our nap of the day, we go to the 225. This is the QTS handicap. A one mile, two furlong class, six three-year-olds and upwards, just over two and a half grand again on offer. 12 runners, it's quite a competitive race, but Royal Regent for me um, looks the one to side with. He's another one who's run three times only so far this season. He's pretty exposed in truth. He's four from 38 in his career, nine times in the frame alongside. There, he's been a pretty good money spinner for connections. He's down to a mark as low as he's been for a very long time. He was in the mid 70s at one point for Lucy Normal, and I think basically been an exercise in getting himself fit and handicapped. He's down to a mark of 58 now, and there is much more encouragement to be taken for his effort over this course and distance last time out and finishing third behind Tundra tracking the leaders and clear of the pack leading three furlongs out and just getting tired inside the final furlong basically paying the price for chasing the clear leader there um, Finale Mine who fell out the back of the television in the end which gives you a good idea that Royal Regent actually ran extremely well in the circumstances that was on good to soft ground so rain's no issue I think this looks a race with very little pace and hopefully Paddy Mathers will be able to make all the running on the nine year old best of luck on Monday betting experts